Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be working on the 63 F100. We're gonna be doing some stuff on the inside, doing some rust preventative, and I'll show you the stuff that we're gonna be using for the inside. POR 15, that's what we're gonna be using. POR says paint directly over rust. I haven't looked this up, but I would think that POR probably means paint over rust, but I don't know. I can't make any promises, but this stuff is really good. Pretty much you just get as much rust as you can off of the surface and then you're gonna paint this directly over top of it. You can you know, do a brush or you can do a roller. Probably do a roller for most of it just to speed up the process, but. Okay, so last video we made the little plate to block off down around the base of the steering column. We also patched up the trans tunnel so it's all good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get as much build up rust that we can off of the floor, vacuum everything out, clean it really good and then put POR 15. So. Let's get started. So for most of the removal, we're gonna be using this cut brush. It's by DeWalt, it's a three inch. But this has some very, very stiff bristles and it'll really do a good job of stripping all that rust off of there. So let's go ahead and stick this on our angle grinder and we'll get started. Just a reminder, this step here, we're gonna to have to weld in a new patch panel for that. So we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna get POR 15 on everything else. Then when we come back and patch all that in, we'll put POR 15 on that as well. But for today, we're not gonna worry about doing all that. I just want to stop and say I'm very pleased with, as we're knocking back some of this paint and rust and everything, there's just perfectly beautiful metal right underneath it. So this is going to be good. This is a good sign. The last part I was just using an abrasive wheel on a normal battery powered drill. I was just kind of going around in the tighter spaces that that three inch cut brush wouldn't fit into. like. Obviously this is gonna be able to reach more places than the three inch cut brush. So more of the detail work was just done on here. So we're gonna go ahead and shop back everything that we've broken loose in there and we'll see what we're dealing with. All right, we're gonna open this up, get it stirred up and poured into this container. We're just using a tray because uh, we're gonna roll most of it on. So I've got the wrong size tray. Had to borrow my wife's paint tray, so she'll probably kill me, but I'll get you a new one, I promise. While I'm opening this, it's crazy to believe that just two months ago, I was in this little one car garage doing all this stuff. I didn't have all these vehicles in there, obviously, because it was one car, hence one car garage. But just to think that's all that I had, and now we've got this big building with a furnace, and it's keeping me warm on this pretty cold day, so it's freaking awesome. I'll quit chit-chatting and I'll open this. That will go down in history as the hardest container I've ever opened, but we're gonna go ahead and pour this in here. By the way, off camera, I did also uh, clean what I had just taking a wire wheel to, so took a shot back to it and then went back over it with some cleaner degreaser just to make sure that this would adhere to it. All right, we're gonna start with that much. All right, so we're gonna start by doing half and half. We're gonna do half that way and then come over here to the driver's side and then come from the middle out. That way we don't paint ourselves into a spot where we can't reach and work. Okay guys, so the first coat is done. Um, don't worry about this porous look that we've got going down here where you can see through the layer of POR 15 we just put on there. The reason that happens is because it's adhering to certain parts of the surface and not the rest, so it creates a porous type look. As you put the second coat over there, it'll adhere a lot better and it'll get rid of all that. So it probably wouldn't be as noticeable if we weren't trying to paint over this white color or cream color, whatever this is. 
The instructions call for two to six hours of dry time before you put the second coat on. So for the time being, I'm gonna go find something else to do. We'll come back, put a second coat on, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. So coat number two is gonna be put on with a brush. This will help us get all of the detail work in there and we'll actually be able to lay this on a little bit thicker with this brush and get into some of the tighter spots with this. So, so I'm gonna go ahead back in the truck and put the second coat on. Okay, so here's the second coat. You can tell that it's looking a lot better. Um, the porous look that was right here is no longer there. The second coat kind of filled in those pores and leveled out. So I'm going to put some heat on this just because it's super cold outside. And we'll come check on it in the morning and it should be good. Okay, so it's starting to look really good. I got a space heater on it. Everything's nice and solid. It's still trying to cure. It's a little bit tacky still, but, but for the most part, that's going to be it for this POR15. Okay guys, so that's gonna conclude that part of the interior build of the truck. The POR15 again is gonna to help to really seal in that rust, prevent it from creating more rust because obviously rust is like cancerous almost. So it'll just spread and spread and spread. And POR15, you can paint it right over top of that. It'll help to seal it in, prevent moisture from getting in there. And it's a super solid waterproof finish. We still have a ton to do on the inside of this truck. Like we're gonna do some sound deadening mat, we're also gonna do some carpet, we're gonna do some seats, uh, we're gonna do some paint. There's a lot to do, but we're gonna do it one video at a time. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. I will be linking to the products that I purchased down in the description. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, the channel is growing pretty quickly, so I'm pretty happy with that. I wanna thank you guys for following the channel and for any subscribers that I get from this video, I just wanna thank you in advance. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving and I'll catch you guys in the next one.